Hey, today I'm reviewing a Monster High Abby Abominable Skull Shores doll. Um, right now she's in her snowboarding outfit that's from the Monster High Club set. It's only just an outfit, it doesn't come with a doll. So, right here she has on her purple goggles with blue around it. Those look like little teeth, like the teeth she has right there. And it's blue around them, and if you look closely right there, it's a monster high skull head. Her eyes are purple, and she has, let me take that off right there, she has a blue sparkly face. And the rest of her body is sparkly too. Her hair is white and sparkly, and in the back is purple, blue, and pink, and little sparkles just running through her hair. So... I think that's very pretty. Right here are little icicles, right there. I wouldn't imagine her going to the beach because she's used to the cold, not the warm. So, well, I guess it's a shore, so. Um, she has the same necklace as she does in the regular doll with all the leg warmers. And she has a long sleeve, white turtleneck, and her hands are very big and she has big claws too. Um, it goes down here and sits on the palm of her hand and only shows her fingers. This one too. She has a blue fluffy vest and it's, it feels like it'd be very comfortable. She has a light purple lipstick and at the bottom of her eyeshadow is a dark blue. She has a pink shorts, which I can't imagine having shorts snowboarding, but I guess she does. Um, it's purple right here, a little pads right here with light purple stripes on that side too. And right here and along there and right here at the stomach are stretchies which are blue and are very cute with her outfit. She has blue sparkly legs and cute snowboarding shoes that are blue and very pretty pink. They are black and have, and one of them, I'm not sure which one, has a hole at the bottom. I think it's that one. So you can connect it. Actually, I think they both do. So you can connect them to the snowboard. The snowboard has the little design of the Monster High Skelet. The It's an eye right there and the nose. It looks like its design is a cracked board, and at the back looks like little teeth. Um, actually, I never noticed that, but on the Monster High Skelet thing, there are two teeth right there. I guess I didn't look close enough. But um, she came with her blue brush with the Monster High Skelet. I had to say Monster High down the back, and she has her hair up in a side ponytail. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the board. It is a purple, pink, and blue. Um, when you attach it to her, it comes off kind of easily. So you have to put her in a certain mode or position so she can carefully be picked up with the board just hanging off her feet. It comes off sometimes unexpectedly. Right here is pink purple and blue so it's kind of like a fading color of light dark and darker um it's supposed to look like ice kind of a little see-through so that's one thing and her goggles match the color of the purple on her snowboard well um she has very big hands she is a little taller than the other Monster High dolls. Some people say she's about the same height as Nephora Denial. Actually, I haven't gotten her yet, but I assume that I probably will. Um, she has pretty teeth that go up instead of down, so they're kind of like the opposite of Draculaura's. She has sharp fingernails because she is daughter of the Yeti. And she's going to say bye because this is little review is about to be over so thank you for watching and Abby can say goodbye so thank you for watching